Hello and welcome. Right, I've set this going. I have got the engines of almost everybody that needs to be started started. I thought I'd get this going first because this is the most important job. And we are going to go do the straw. I am going to go straight into a time lapse because this is going to still take a while. It is grabbing the straw in this method. This is a long field, so yeah, this is a slightly different to the others. I've not done a long field before, so yeah, I'm going to say my word straight away and we will have a chat when we've finished. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
and quite realistic in so much as you just keep doing it to a central point and then take it from the central point. I would say it's neither no quicker nor slower than bailing really but it's a single process where you're just grabbing it well you sort of shift it a little bit twice but not by a grand scale not really so yeah I'm, I'm quite think it's yeah up to par with bailing and moving loose and of course you've got the Beauty of you shifting to the central point stick this I think at the end of here. It's really out of the way a little. Is that I really be chuffed that I found this method. I mean I have sort of did do the method before, but not quite like this. This is quite a unique way of doing it and a much more sensible way of putting things to a central point, moving things around to a central point and then from a central point, which is pretty much what it's done with in real life, only usually with telehandlers. So, yeah, we're using a better floor pickup system, so it is quite, quite good, really. Got quite a lot of straw. We'll have a look properly how much, but yeah, there are quite a few complete 48 and 48 ish sometimes I, I thought well you're nearest that mate 45 tons you, you still know 
you're going to need more anyway. So you're not wasting your time running back up with 45 or 43 or, for, you know, nearly a full load. It's not far off. Let's have a look then in storage with what, yeah, I mean, that's going to be in by the time we straw. 257 tons. Wow, not bad at all. Must remember the wood chips as well at the back end. That is fantastic, it is. Yeah, what I thought I would do is go through until next month. Yeah, because I think it's a sorghum harvest. So let's have a look. If it's dark green, it is. If it's not, then it's not. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And also, it's not just that. Is it? It's uh, all of our root crops apart from potatoes. Oh, are they ready too as well? Oh, maybe they are. It might be everything. Yeah, I think it's, oh, tomorrow's going to be a long, a long sort of harvest. I'm going to get us to it and do the animals, I think. Oh, and it is raining, but three o'clock tomorrow, so we don't want to be wasting any time. Yeah, the any loading or unloading, although we are running short, as we saw. Not, I've, yeah. Oh, we've done everything. Wow. Oh, it's done that thing again. There's no way. We had hundreds of tons of carrots. I think it's got to be something to do with when you stick something like straw in. We were fine until then. Yeah, we had hundreds of tons. The only thing we'd run out of was, was parsnips. So we did this before when it said materials are missing, storage is empty. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, and it's not as easy as it used to be either. We've now got this and that on the side. Oh, this is a pain. I'll be glad when this is fixed. Yeah, because the other thing is, as we know from last time, it won't accept the, uh, the crops too. So, oh, that's so annoying. So having some storage next to it somehow does something strange to the... Now I'm hoping that it does not affect. Uh, right, it is, yeah, we're gonna have to. Gonna have to. Gonna give myself the full value of these back, the twelve and a half grand. Gonna have to, which is nearly ten. So we're gonna give ourselves another two. This should be two thousand five. Right, okay. About 2005 then for the two ish. I'll check in edit to make sure I'm not being naughty. I don't think I am. Right, now, let's save the game before we do this. Yeah, I've got auto save off now because it's. Uh, I didn't think there was a need. We, well, there isn't with this type of thing either. Also, the full value of the factory again. I'm hoping it doesn't forget. We have got hundreds of tons in here. We, we did this last time. It did something strange, but it did know it was in there really. Yeah, it did. Look at that. 161,000 in sold ah oh, so annoying it is because that's worth more to this it's it's although it, it looks really good it's not it's the product's not worth as much to us as product than it is as soup it's really it looks like a clever way of making a bit of cash but it's not it really is terrible it's twice now it's done that to us I think it's got to be the silo I do. I, I'm not blaming the silo either. It is that obviously it's this is the new premium pack. There's not something right. It doesn't... Every time you put straw in that, it's almost like it does something to the new products in there. And then they you can't read them anymore. So it's, yeah, something to do with that. Oh, I didn't see how much I got for the factory either. I'll have to check that in editing. So I'm not going to put that back. 93 it was, yeah, thinking about it. I did, I just just thought I was just thinking out loud. So then, how much is that? The premium, 93, 135. 
so 93, so we'll call it 95, 105, 150, 125, 130, about 40,000 we lost off that. Right. 40, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's, it, it might seem like, oh, we've just made a killing. Well, yeah, we have. We had hundreds of tons of product that we make into soup that makes us far more than selling product. We all know root crops selling hundreds of tons is going to make you thousands, but we could make hundreds of thousands off that. And now we're literally starting from scratch again. Luckily, our harvest is around the corner, but what I mean is we have done our fields... The carrots, especially, based upon the fact that we've got a load of carrots to tide us through till next year, and now all of a sudden we're going to have a small harvest. It's very, very annoying. Can't be helped, I know. Yeah, and we're going to have to put this in V mode. It should be alright. Um, yeah, that way. I need to look at the side, really. Yeah, this should be able to sort of guide us by how we do that, and also pretty much the original That's the, if that works, that's the only trouble thing with V-Mode. Oh, I think we've stuck it on top of the we have we've come a little bit too far this way we've gone over the pusher mod it's sort of like oh it has as well right okay in that case can we just touch the pusher you can just see the rail okay we're gonna have to do this with the pusher so 120 lost off that. Do you know, this is really... I know it's not a lot, but yeah, that's... God, right, let's shift out of the way. I'm not... I'm a little loath to put the sheds back around the... Yeah, I am, because... As good as it is, and I thought they were the most in character uh, actual buildings, really, but. That's not far off. Just have a look at these and put that at the front. They were really quite close. Although, do we. I'm not really trying to be crafty here, just literally. Right, okay. Let's make sure the storage doesn't read anything weird or anything silly like that. No, storage is empty, so... That is so annoying. Really annoying. Right, it's done. That's left me in a bit of a peeved state. That's twice that's happened to me now. And both times, although you get the product and it seems like, oh yeah, it's, it's all really good, really, no, it's not. It isn't, it's not at all. I think we have got enough sheds with those. I, I, yeah, I'm only not, I do, did like those. I thought they were really in character and everything, but it's, we can't keep having to do this every single year. Luckily, I've got to be honest, it's probably not this. I think to the end of this year, I did sort of say that already, I think this is going to be the last harvest, as in of the, that goes into there, I'd like to see it all go, as in process everything and do everything really that we've got already, I would like to do that, now there's a little tiny bit there, in that corner, let's just raise that very slightly, yeah, I think, and... Yeah, now it's to raise a little bit, just there. Yeah, I think that is not too far off. It looks always looks worse though when you actually go down to ground level. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to stick with me on this journey. 
and as always as fellow shareholders on the farm, I always love to hear from you. And goodbye for now.